Hello everyone. Today we will be making phenol, a useful organic reagent from aspirin. The first step of the synthesis will be the extraction of our starting reagent, acetylsalicylic acid. For that we will need to look at a spreadsheet of the components of aspirin. Then pick a solvent that can only dissolve our product. In the second step we will form salicylic acid by basic hydrolysis. Then we will decarboxylate this product to form phenol. We first start by crushing 10 tablets into a fine powder. The more crushed the powder is the better. Each tablet contains 1 gram of acetylsalicylic acid. We should then have about 10 grams of product. After using some acetone to dissolve the product, we can mount a reflux setup, but this is optional. Then we distill the acetone, and chill our product to room temperature to make it solidify and crystallize. We will now do the hydrolysis. First measure about 10 grams of sodium hydroxide and dilute it with some water. Then we put a reflux on the mix to complete the reaction. Once that is done we can precipitate our insoluble salicylic acid. This step needs pH control to know when we have added all of the hydrochloric acid needed. The pH needs to be 1. We filter the acid and wash it again with some water to eliminate any soluble sodium chloride. We put the precipitated acid into a desiccator to dry it. I used calcium chloride but you can use any anhydrous salt like calcium sulfate or even phosphorus pentoxide. After some hours the product is dry and we can measure the yield. For the final step we heat the powder in this type of setup. The water filled balloon and the walls of the beaker are going to catch the deposition of phenol crystals. Thanks for watching and see you next time.